this one should be for us a way to uh, get cash in very early and use it as ammo for the other games. Schalke at home at plus 450. Leipzig looked very good at the weekend. All right. Across, and deep in their squad as well at minus 175. The draw is at plus 335. I think we've got to look at Leipzig team total, but it's minus 160 to score twice. So we've got to get a little bit creative here. I think Leipzig win the minus one at minus 105. Kev looks like the free hit with a push worst case. Yeah, there's a lot of logic behind that. My fear is here, and it's only in a sometimes it's a really intangible thing. If you look at everything, Schalke at bottom, single figure points, dreadful form, um, obviously lost heavily at Frankfurt at the weekends. Leipzig going great. So yeah, all of the logic tells you this should be a Leipzig win, absolutely. My only intangible fear here is midweek game, full house at the Veltins. Get a bit of momentum. Thomas Rice in charge. If they start well, it's just one of those awkward games where the numbers are not generous enough to get me involved here. And the other thing as well, actually, is that Schalke, even though they lost heavily at Frankfurt, played really well in that game. They were 1-0 down early on, well, fairly early on. Uh, Lindstrom scored brilliantly. But actually, they, they hung around and they had some really good positions in that game. So it looks like a 3 0 looks like they were dreadful. It wasn't quite like that. Um, I spoke to Derek Ray, who commentated on that game, and he, he was quite impressed with the way Schalke approached it at times. So let's see. Uh, as I say, logic dictates Leipzig win the game, but for me, it just felt a little bit trappy. Yeah, I was quite impressed with the way that Leipzig uh, hunted in packs, to be honest. And uh, they seem to have good energy. And then, Alex, they bring stars off the bench as well. I think the problem you've got with Schalke is always when you go to Schalke and it's a night game, there seems to be a different vibe about the whole place. But if Leipzig can just set them down. They use it as a European night. And as we know, Leipzig were better in Europe than they have been domestically. And not not only that, but uh, I think that uh, Kev was on point. I think that that against the uh, Eintracht, I think that uh, it was Schalke's best game uh, this season. It was maybe it's my impression, but I think that they played great, mostly in the second half. So will be they will be very frustrated to see that even when we played good, we couldn't even find the back of the net, you know, and we lose three zero. Okay, it was Eintracht at home. Now they are at uh, uh, away, but now they are at home. Uh, you know, against Leipzig, but Leipzig, they, they could even uh, uh, win the three points. Uh, they could have uh, uh, won the three points against Bayer. The pressure, the intensity that they bring into the game, the quality from the middle and up. Uh, I think that that will be the key to this match. I think that uh, um, they were very happy with the one point from uh, from Bayer, uh, taking one point from Bayer. Now Schalke. Uh, of course, that they're playing uh, better uh, at home than on the road because on the road they are 0 0, I don't know, 7 or something like that. At home, at least they have two wins uh, there uh, and they are scoring some goals. But I think that Leipzig uh, should at least score two, maybe three goals on their own. And in case they score so many goals, they will also win this one. I don't know if uh, Schalke will score or not. I don't want to uh, go there. Uh, hopefully they will not score and uh, it will be like a 2-0 win for Leipzig for both our uh, our picks to, to come in. Uh, yeah, I've actually gone for 2-0. I think that Leipzig, high press. Schalke haven't got the players to, to actually get out. And I think that Schalke are going to try and keep this game as tight as possible. Even uh, maybe take a little bit of DNA from the old Augsburg performances. Even though we know Augsburg are now pushing forward. And they're like, why is he talking about Augsburg? Because if Schalke are going to get points, that's what they're going to need to do. They cannot go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these sides. And I've said already about the bench. Um, I was looking at Schalke not to score at plus 140. Um, but then I just went with Leipzig. For me, they win the game. If it's a push, it's a push. But at minus one, minus 105, I thought it was an absolute no-brainer. I think Leipzig scored twice, but it's minus 160. So they're telling you that this game really is 1-2, one, 1-3. One, but I'm thinking Schalke starts with uh, naught. Uh, Barcelona saying Leipzig to score in both halves is at plus 125. I think nice. they score in both halves. Wow, he's got me Leipzig to win and both teams to score at plus 210 as well. Um, let's not complicate it. 
I mean, let's go with a free hit. Let's have a little look at the official picks of game number one of seven. It's Schalke versus Leipzig. Leipzig minus one at minus 105. And Leipzig and over one and a half at minus 125. So Schalke nil, Leipzig two. We like that. Or maybe even three one. If it's three nil up, don't mind Schalke getting one at the uh, at the end. 